Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply quadratic polynomial regression to the given data set to draw a polynomial curve. This is the solved example number one. The link for other examples is given in the description below. This is the data set given to us uh, in this case. We have been given uh, five uh, data points where x is the independent variable and y is a dependent variable. Given the value of x, we should be in a position to calculate the value of y here. The quadratic uh, polynomial regression equation looks something like this. That is uh, y is equal to a0, a1x plus a2x square, where x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable. Given the value of x, if you know the value of a0, a1 and a2, we will be able to calculate the value of y in this case. Now the question comes in front of us, how to calculate the values of a0, a1 and a2. The values of a0, a1 and a2 are calculated using the following uh, equations. Uh, you can see here there are three uh, variables are there that is a0, a1, a2. Using these three equations we can calculate these uh, uh, the values of these particular variables. So the first equation looks something like this that is summation of y. The meaning is we have been given the y column that is a, a dependent uh, variable. We have to calculate the summation of that particular variable which is equivalent to n into a0 where n is the number of uh, data points given to us. In this case we have been given uh, 5 data points so the value of n is equivalent to 5 here. Now a0 is what we want to calculate plus a1 again we want to calculate this value. Uh, a1 is multiplied by summation of xi. So x column is given to us that is independent variable. Take the summation of that particular uh, variable. Similarly a2 multiplied by summation of uh, x square. First we need to calculate x square and then uh, calculate the summation of that one. So similarly we have to do this particular calculations. Once you do that particular calculations, put those values in this uh, equations, you will get the values of a0, a1 and a2 here. Now what all things are required for us? One is uh, summation of y is required, summation of xi is required, summation of xi square, xi cube, xi raised to 4 in this case. So these are the uh, things required. Along with that, I need to know what is the value of uh, summation of uh, y into x and summation of uh, y into x square. So first we calculate all these values and then we will put those values in these equations. Finally, we will come up with the values of a0, a1 and a2 in this case. So to calculate this particular values, I will prepare one uh, simple table here. So x and y are given to us. So we will take the summation of x here and summation of y here. Next, I will calculate x square and then I will take the summation of this column. Similarly, I will calculate x cube, then I will calculate the summation of x cube and x raised to 4, I will calculate the summation of x raised to 4 here. We need two more variables or the values. One is uh, yx. So first I will multiply x with the y, we will get this column and then I will take the summation of this column again and uh, y multiplied by x square, we will get these values. We will take the summation of this. So once you find all these particular values, we will put these values into the previous equations. So these are the three equations what we have. Using these equations, we can calculate a0, a1 and a2 in this case. So first I will put these values in these equations. So once I put these values in these equations, it looks something like this. Now you can see here, these are the three simultaneous equations what we have. And uh, we need to find the values of these three variables that is a0, a1 and a2. So once you uh, solve these particular equations, you will get the value of a0 as uh, 12.4, a1 as uh, minus 5.51 and a2 as 0.76. So these are the three values what we got. Uh, we need to put these particular values in the base uh, equation that is the quadratic polynomial uh, regression equation so that uh, we can predict the value of uh, dependent variable using independent variable in that case. So these are the three values what we have calculated that is a0, a1 and a2. This is the quadratic uh, 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 polynomial equation or you can say that the model that's the final one. That is 12.4 uh, minus 5.5 uh, multiplied by x plus uh, 0.76 multiplied by x square. Now if you know the value of x, we need to put that particular value in this equation. You will be able to calculate the value of y in this case. That's a very simple uh, what we can say that the calculation. Now if you go on changing the value of x uh, by 0 to n, you are going to get the polynomial curve something like this. So 
if you know the value of uh, x you will be able to calculate or predict the value of y easily using this particular quadratic polynomial regression model in this case in this video i have discussed how can you apply quadratic polynomial regression model to the given data set so that you can draw the polynomial curve in this case uh, once you draw this particular curve given the value of x you can easily calculate the value of uh, what we can say that the dependent variable in this case that is y here i hope the concept is clear if you like this video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching